So, nearly all biological databases are uh, available to be downloaded as simple txt files. Um, sometimes we are interested to just download the database and do the analysis locally in our own machines uh, that might save our time. Entris is uh, the, the uh, integrated search engine which works uh, behind NCBI. So, you are doing lot many researches, uh, you are looking for a variety of data. So, on the back of it, uh, there is a system which they call it as Entris. So, that is there. Um, it integrates PubMed and uh, other 39 other scientific journals. It integrates between different protein databases uh, and uh, many other resources as we can see from here. It integrates between GEO, which are the gene expression sets. We have seen them earlier. OMIM is uh, online Mendelian inheritance in man. It interacts with genome databases, uh, some taxonomy databases. And in, in the middle, we have the nucleotides, PubMed and protein databases. So that is uh, an integrated system which operates between different databases. So you simply search for whatever you are looking and then entries uh, will go and find it for you. Here is the page. Entries. Um, you can put your uh, whatever you want to search here in this box and then uh, there are different connections uh, which are available. So, we have literature resources, we have health databases, genomes, uh, different gene databases, proteins and chemicals. So, sometimes we need to um, get the data in bulk amount and uh, FTP is a good way in which we can get that data. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Um, normally, uh, we can use Linux for this purposes, but for the window users, there are some other packages or application programs available which they call them as FTP clients. So, we will probably use uh, these, uh, these uh, FTP while we are doing some of our homeworks. So, uh, once we get that data, uh, most of the time we see that data is not in a proper format. Uh, so, software they require it in a different format. So, we might uh, want to use some programming languages to help uh, convert that data into the required format. So, Perl and Python are the biggest uh, uh, use uh, in, in bioinformatics. So, these are the programmings which are most frequently used. So, we conclude that data is transferred over the internet and uh, data needs to be transformed or processed uh, before giving it to different softwares.